What's up guys, it's Eric with Modern Day Family Man. How are you guys doing today? I am bringing you a really cool feature today of one of my top three Bluetooth trackers. And if you're wondering why I sound funnier than I normally do, it's because I do have a metal mouth. So I do apologize for that. I'm going to be talking about a really cool feature with the Pebble Bee Finder and the Amazon Alexa. This will work no matter if you have the Amazon Echo or the Amazon Dot. In the past, we have seen a couple Bluetooth trackers that have worked with Alexa, but the feature has really been limited to just finding your phone and not your Bluetooth tracker until now. We're also gonna look at the tracker Pixel and see how it works with Alexa currently. Let me quickly show you how to set these up. First thing you wanna do is go into the Amazon Alexa app and you wanna download the skill. Go to skills, Search all skills, you type in tracker, search, and there it is. And you want to enable that. And then you want to go into the tracker app. You go over here and say click add new device. And then you want to click on Alexa integration. And you hit continue. And now you can ask Alexa for a pin. Alexa, ask tracker for my pin. Okay, your six digit pin code is 123456. This information is also available to you in your Alexa app. And then you hit submit. Hit continue. It's been paired successfully. And then once you do that, you can go in here and you can see the things that you can say. Alexa, ask tracker what I can say. You can use the tracker skill to find your lost phone. For example, you can get started by saying, ask tracker to find my phone. Now, what would you like to do? Alexa, ask Tracker to find my phone. Your phone was last seen recently, at, or somewhere near. Canary Kimpton Hotel, 31 West Canary Street, St. Bernard, California, 93101. Shall I ring it for you? Yes. I have asked your phone to start ringing. And you can see it shows up just fine. So let's go ahead and shut down the app, but keep it running in the background. Alexa, ask Tracker to ring my phone. I have asked your phone to start ringing. But now let's go ahead and shut down the app completely on iOS and see what happens. You might get different results on an Android phone. Alexa, ask Tracker to ring my phone. I have asked your phone to start ringing. And you get nothing. So you do have to keep the app up and running in the background on iOS for this feature to work. Now, there are plenty of ways to find your phone via Alexa, but there are not many ways to find your Bluetooth tracker. So let's go ahead and try that with the tracker Pixel and see what happens. And as you can see, it's up and running. I'm just blocking this map out for my privacy. Alexa, ask tracker to find my keys. Your phone was last seen recently, at, or somewhere near. Canary Kimpton Hotel, 31 West Canary Street, St. Bernard, California. Shall I ring it for you? Yes. I have asked your phone to start ringing. So as you can see, it will not find your device, your Bluetooth tracker, only your phone. Even if you go in here and you see the common sayings, finding your device or your Bluetooth tracker is not a current option. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Pebble Bee Finder. So to do this, it's very similar to Tracker. You need to go into the Amazon Alexa app, go into your skills, download the Pebble Bee skill, and enable it. All right, and now you go into the Pebble Bee app, go up here to the Amazon Alexa setup, and now let's go ahead and ask Alexa for a pin. Alexa. What is my Pebble B pin? Your Pebble B code is 123456. And then you hit submit. You get a little check mark. And if you click this arrow right here, it gives you instructions and you can see it does allow you to find your keys as long as your app is up and running in the background. Alexa, ask Pebble B what they can do. After you've tagged your findables on the Pebble B app, you can simply ask Alexa to help you find your keys or phone. You can also ask Alexa to locate your keys. Soon, you'll be able to tag things like bags, jackets, remote controls, and more. 
That is pretty cool. Alexa, ask Pebble B to find my phone. Buzzing your phone. And just like that, it rings. But unfortunately, there's no way to turn this off. You're pressing all the buttons, and it still rings and rings. It does shut off after one cycle of it ringing though. So if you do not find it in that you know, 10 second period, unfortunately it's not long enough and you have to ask Alexa to find it again. And let's go ahead and shut down the app completely and see what happens. Alexa, ask Pebble B to find my phone. Buzzing your phone. So it doesn't really buzz like it was before. It does a little notification buzz, but that's not gonna help you find your phone. Let's go ahead and move on to the keys. Alexa, ask Pebble B to find my keys. Buzzing your device, stay yeah, boom, just like that, and turn it off. Let's go ahead and try this with the app running in the background. Alexa, Ask Pebble B to ring my keys. Buzzing your device. Stainless. Boom. Just like that, my keys are found. Now, fortunately, it does have to be within Bluetooth range of your phone. And let's go ahead and shut down the app completely and see what happens. Alexa, ask Pebble B to find my keys. Buzzing your device. Stainless. And once again, it gives you a little notification, a little beep, but no buzzing whatsoever. The app does have to be running in the background on iOS devices. I have talked to Pebble support and they said it does not have to run on Android devices, um, which is a great thing. Unfortunately, I am not able to test that. Hopefully in the near future, I will be able to get an Android phone with the help of my Patreon members. If you guys want to check out my Patreon account and see what benefits you guys can get, definitely click right up here. Now, if you want to switch which device actually rings when you ask the Alexa to ring your keys, you can easily just go back into the app, go into the Alexa setup, and change the device right down here. And this time we're going to do the black on black Pebble Bee Finder. Hit done. And we're going to put it in the background. And now we're going to say, Alexa, ask Pebble Bee to find my keys. Buzzing your device. Black on black. And just like that, it's found. Pebble Bee is the first Bluetooth tracker that I've seen that you can actually find a device via Alexa, which is really cool. Now you might say that you're not going to lose your keys and your phone at the same time, uh, but you know, who knows, you might. But I can't wait to see it in the future where you're able to add extra things, not just your keys, you're be able to find like remotes. And the options go on and on what's possible. So I can't wait to see what comes out in the near future. So congratulations to Pebble Bee for making that work. You guys are definitely the first ones to do it as far as I know. Pebble Bee has also perfected where you're able to find your phone uh, without the app running in the background on iOS so you can press the device and your phone will ring as long as it's within range. It also has the ability to tracking without the app running in the background, so definitely a thumbs up on that. In the future, I will be doing a video on that, and if that video is available, it will be right up here, so check that out. So definitely two thumbs up for Pebble Bee and Pebble Bee Finder. In the near future, I will also be doing a really cool kind of hack to this device. Once that video is out, it will be right up here. So definitely check that one out. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you guys want to pick up one of these Pebble Bees for yourself, there is a affiliate link down below to Amazon. Pebble Bee has offered my viewers a 25% discount, which is amazing. There is a discount code also below, so definitely check that out. So guys, let's wrap up this video. If you haven't already seen the unboxing of the Pebble Bee Finder, check out that video right there. If you want to see the unboxing and review video of the Tracker Pixel, click that bottom video right there. I hope I've earned your subscription. If I have, click that blue circle right there. If you want to become a super subscriber, click that blue square and check out how you become a Patreon. I appreciate all the love and support. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.